So if you're not already familiar with MSI, they're most well known for their gaming laptops and desktops and also the motherboards and graphics cards, among many other things. So if you are looking for a reputable brand to trust when it comes to buying a new PC, MSI are a good one. And even if you're looking for a small PC that takes up minimal space but still offers big performance. And I have partnered up with MSI for this particular video and they want me to show you guys the customer journey when it comes to picking up a PC for work and productivity through their website. And then straight after that, I'll do the unboxing, run through the setup process so you guys can see how easy or how difficult it is. And then we'll run through the key specs on the PC that you likely saw in the title and the thumbnail of this video. And I'll even do a bit of gaming and show you guys some benchmarks so you can see how good it is when it comes to performance. Okay, let's see what I can get for the money. And my requirements here are minimal space taken on the desk and as low a price as possible while still having the power to do video editing. So check this out. There are a ton of products from MSI and you can have a look at all of these, but I am gonna be focusing on the monitors and desktops and I am planning to get a monitor and a desktop and in this case it is for business and productivity so let's have a look at this you'll notice there is a pro series here but I know that's going to be more expensive so I'm going to look at the cubby or QB series the Nook 1M the QB N ADL and the QB 512N the great thing about MSI's website is actually you can tick these little boxes here and compare all of these using their built-in tool if you want but I wanna look at this one. This is a Red Dot Award winner of 2024, so it's gotta be good, right? And here we have the product page, which is gonna give us some of the highlights of this particular QB Nook. It's got an Intel Core 7-150U, so that's already pretty good. DDR5, Thunderbolt 4, which is fantastic when you're adding extra monitors or additional accessories. And I do often edit off an SSD, so this is gonna be very useful for me. It's nice and compact. It seems to have the power that I would need and it's got a ton of IO. So I think this is gonna be the one for me. So let's go to shop now and look at the options we have. So there are various models, different builds of this particular QB Nook and there are bare bones versions of this available and you can identify those by the BB at the end of the product name. I do wanna go for the Intel Core 7 though, that's important. So here are the options, there are three different stores and Amazon is typically my go-to because I do have Prime, so I might as well make the most of it. So let's check out the offer here on Amazon. 769 next day delivery, fantastic. And if you look here as well, you can actually pay for installation of the actual hardware itself. So if you're not a tech savvy person, this is a great option from Amazon. And it's also worth noting, if you're not that tech savvy, but you want extra RAM or extra memory pre-installed on your QB, you can actually do this via partner websites like CyberPower PC. You can actually choose different processors, different amounts of RAM, and you can get loads of other stuff like capture cards as well bundled in with your purchase. So it's definitely worth keeping this website in mind if you do want to modify the specifications on the QB Nook. Anyway, back to the MSI website. Now we need a monitor to go with this QB Nook. Let's go back to the product section and back to monitors and desktops. And then here we have a convenience section for business and productivity monitors. So let's go to that. And once again, we have different series of monitors from MSI. For the sake of keeping the cost down, I am gonna go for the Summit series. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options here. And down the left-hand side, you've got a bunch of different filters if you're looking for specific sizes and things like that. And you do have that comparison tool as well. So you can just add these to the bottom of the screen here and then compare the specs side by side. Now I'm gonna go for a small screen because like I said before, I wanna take up minimal space. So a 25 inch monitor would be fantastic. And also I heard pro gamers use 25 inch monitors. So that's a little more incentive to have a look at this one. So it's the Pro MP251 series for business and productivity. It's the world's first 24.5 inch 100 Hertz Isago business monitor. So it is an IPS panel. It's got fantastic viewing angles. It's nice and compact. And that's one of the requirements for me. And the ICE Ergo certification here is in regards to its eye care features. And it is two Rhineland certified, which means the amount of blue light coming off the screen is not enough to burn your retinas if you're sitting in front of it all day. So that's a good thing. And you'll notice here, this is why this monitor is perfect for the QB. It can be fitted to the back and the branding will match. 
So I'm liking the look of this one. So let's go back to the product page and hit shop now. And then once again, we have a list of the places where we can buy it from. And Amazon is coming soon, unfortunately. So I'm gonna look at a different retailer for this one. Let's have a look at Overclockers UK. Okay, so this price is absolutely amazing. 78.95 for a 100 hertz monitor in a compact size, which is what I need. And the delivery is free. And Overclockers is definitely a trusted website for this kind of hardware. So let's go for this. Okay, so that's the hardware. Now let's skip forward to the unboxing process. So the QB5 1M is a mini PC. So naturally the packaging is small. Inside you get the quick start guide and the usual literature and a pack of screws for the provided VESA mounting plate. You also get the power cable and power brick, which is nice and compact. And MSI are nice enough to throw in a SATA cable, which can be used to expand the memory at a later date. And it's really great that MSI throw this cable in for free. It means you don't have to shop around and look for it later on if you do decide you want to expand the memory. Also in the box, MSI do give you a power button extension cable, which is what you'll want to use if you are gonna mount the QB to the back of your monitor. And we will find out how easy or difficult it is during the setup process. And then last out of the box, we do have the QB Nook 1M itself. And I'm stating the obvious here, but it is small. It's just five centimeters in height and 13.5 centimeters in width and also depth. And something that I instantly love about this is the amount of IO that it has. So up front, we get two 10 gigabit per second USB type A's, one micro SD card reader and an auxiliary port, which can be used for speakers and headphones, but also it acts as a line in for your mics. Now here's where things get a bit more interesting. On the back, you have two HDMI 2.1 ports that do support 4K 60 Hertz. The one that is labeled HDMI power link does support MSI's power link, of course. Basically what this does, if you use this port to plug into your monitor, when you power up the PC, the monitor will also power up automatically. So of course, I'm gonna be using that for the primary monitor. And then you've got two USB type A, which both support 10 gigabits per second, and two USB Thunderbolt 4 ports with one of these ports actually supporting power delivery up to 100 watts. And this port is particularly handy if you plan to plug in a USB dock which also supports charging. And that is something I will be doing in the setup. And something else that you need to know about this particular PC is these Thunderbolt 4 ports can be used as display ports alongside the two HDMI ports, which means you can have four monitors connected to this one mini PC, which is pretty incredible. You also get two Ethernet RJ45 2.5G ports, and of course the DC jack, AKA the power port. And it does have a Kensington lock slot if you need one. And then there is one more port on the side, this little one here, which is protected at the moment. We'll come back to that in a minute. So to use as little desk space as possible, I am going to use the provided VESA mounting plate and fix it to the back of the monitor. And it's quite simple really, it's just four screws and it is the ones that came with the QB in the box. So now that's on there, before we actually put the QB onto this, let's get the cables connected. The MSI Pro MP251 does come with a HDMI 2.1 cable in the box, so that's super convenient. So I'm gonna start with that and use the HDMI power link port so we get that dual power up going whenever I switch it on. Also, since this is gonna be around the back of the monitor, let's get the power button connected to the QB. So this little port on the side here, got a little protective cover on it, remove that, plug it in, and that's it, job done. And I am planning to use a second monitor with the QB to see how it handles. So I'm gonna use one of my own HDMI 2.1 cables to plug that in. And one of the fantastic features on the MSI QB Nook is it does support Wi-Fi 6E, and I do have a Wi-Fi 6E modem, so I don't necessarily need to run a cable to it. And also this QB does support Bluetooth 5.4 as well, so Bluetooth accessories can also work wirelessly with it. However, sometimes it is just easier to use the dongles that come with your peripherals. And that's what I'm gonna do here just to speed things up. So I'm gonna use the two USB-A ports on the back to plug in my mouse and keyboard dongles. And the last thing I'm gonna do is use the USB-C power delivery port to plug in my USB hub. And that's it, we're good to go now. We just need to hang it on the back of the monitor and fire it up. Okay, so here are some of the highlights on the MSI QB Nook 1M. You do get Windows 11 pre-installed, so that's an instant win. This one being the most powerful QB from MSI, it's rocking the Intel Core 7 150U codename Raptor Lake. It's got 10 cores, 12 threads, reaching all the way up to 5.4 gigahertz 
with the Turbo Boost feature, put simply, everyday multitasking will be a walk in the park for this PC. It also supports dual channel memory, which is a pretty big deal. And there are two eight gig sticks of premium DDR5 RAM pre-installed. And one of the great things about this style of PC is you can always upgrade that RAM later on and you can go all the way up to 64 gigs of RAM if you want to. And as you saw in the unboxing, you can easily add an additional SATA drive inside the case if you need extra memory. Although this particular build does have a one terabyte SSD pre-installed and it's super, super quick. So there is a good chance that you might never need to upgrade the memory unless you plan to use the MSI QB as a home theater PC, for example. And a couple of side notes worth mentioning here is it runs surprisingly quiet and the casing itself has actually been manufactured using 42.9% of post-consumer recycled plastics. So if you do decide to get this one, you're kind of doing a little bit to save the environment. So let's get to the important stuff. Who is this really for and how good is it? Well, I did edit this entire video on the QB and compared to my much more powerful computers that I normally use for editing, it actually performed very well, so it's definitely a capable PC. I also created the thumbnail art for this video using Adobe Photoshop and all of this whilst using two monitors. So this certainly means it's great for creative workflows. And if all you need it for is just generally Microsoft Word and that kind of stuff, it's gonna blaze through that like it's nothing. Now, I do realize that some people wanna know about the overall performance and gaming. And it's important to know this isn't built as a gaming PC. MSI do have specific gaming stuff on their website. This one uses integrated graphics from Intel. It is the Intel Iris XE graphics, which does mean it's not really geared towards any kind of super intensive gaming. I did load up Valorant on here and it plays reasonably well, even before dialing back all of the graphics settings and things like that. It's certainly smooth enough for me. And I'm told that pro gamers actually do prefer the 24.5 inch monitors and it supports 100 hertz refresh rate which is fast enough to be competitive in most games and it does have built-in speakers as well which actually sound pretty good now even though this qb monitor combo is specifically for work and productivity it isn't just limited to that especially when you consider the fact that you have some thunderbolt 4 ports on the back and if you are a serious gamer you'll be happy to know that using one of these thunderbolt 4 ports you could run an eGPU, an external graphics card for more graphic intense gaming. So it's good to know that that's always an option and you can add it on later if you want to. And if you are interested in seeing the performance of the QB Nook 1M before adding any GPUs or upgrading the RAM, here's how it's stacked up on Cinebench. It is particularly impressive on the single core. It drops down a bit on the multi-core, but overall it's pretty impressive. So here's my thoughts on this. In my opinion, if you're a student, this could be a great workstation setup for you, for your media and for work, as well as some light gaming or even heavy gaming if you wanna add that eGPU. If you are a business owner, this is also a great solution because you could set up a series of these computers for your staff. And it's ideal because it's compact and the pricing on it is pretty reasonable given the power you get. And even if you're a small independent business owner, maybe you have a shop or something like that. This could be great for all of your admin tasks. And at the same time, it gives you the ability to run multiple displays on the premises. So this could be great for advertising as long as you're willing to run the cables around. And for me specifically, a content creator who does video editing and creates images for videos using Photoshop and just generally using the Adobe suite, it's more than powerful enough to do all of that. So guys, let me know what you thought of the QB5 and the monitor that I chose for this video. If you guys wanna check out the most up-to-date MSI prices, there will be an affiliate link below this video. So take a look. If you use that, you will be supporting the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.